Hello, welcome to Spitfire Mods. This is a quick uh, video tutorial on installing uh, our fan booster module into a PS3. Uh, this will work on a FAT or a Slim. You can you can uh, get the installation documents off our support site at spitfiremods.com slash support. And what we're going to do is just walk you through the installation. So first you're going to want to tear down your PS3 as shown on our website. And then once that's done, you're going to want to lay your unit upside down when it's somewhat assembled after you have the fan and the power supply connected is usually the easiest. You're going to splice the white or the, um, the light wire. You're going to have a red, uh, a black. On the fan booster, you're going to have a red, a black, and a light colored wire. White, white and black, whatever it is. Um, this is the fan module. We hot glued it back here. Anywhere underneath here that actually won't interfere with anything is a good spot to glue it somewhere there's easy access to your fan plug and then your gray wire on your fan is where you're going to splice it into so here we splice it into the gray wire like this and then we put some shrink tubing on it so that it would be you know able to withstand being crushed back in there so our light colored wire gets spliced into our gray fan wire once that's done you can flip the unit over and then the way we routed the wires is we brought them up behind the hard drive cage along the side of the power supply to the front. Our ground wire is actually just going to get stripped and wrapped around this ground lug right here. Um, that's our black wire and then our red wire we're going to pull power off the power connection. The very right wire is the hot of the power connection so all the way to the right side is our hot leg so we're going to splice into the hot leg on the right side of the power connection. Um, this one we spliced into and then we just put some uh, liquid tape on it and we kind of hot glued it a little bit to keep it from flapping around too much. Uh, as long as you as long as you have that pretty well sealed, um, that's a good idea to to do. I'm gonna put a little more hot glue on there just to make sure it doesn't end up shorting out on anything. So you want to goop it up good with some hot glue, get it coast, c cased up. The one thing you want to watch when you're mounting these pieces is you don't want to hot glue anywhere where the machine takes on a lot of heat. Once once the fan booster is in here, this thing's not gonna run very warm at all. But you don't want to you don't want to hot glue on any of the of the major ducting down on the bottom. Um, as you can see, we hot glued it. We hot glued it back here on the plastic assembly, which probably won't get that hot, and onto the hard drive cage, which probably won't get hot at all because it's it's separated from the actual lower ducting where the heat sinks are um, by a couple levels. So this is your lower ducting here down on the bottom. Um, the main the main part of the metal cage is going to be your lower ducting which is going to be very close to the heat sinks and it will get hot. Your upper housing where the fan is or your hard drive cage or your back power connection, they don't really don't heat up. So that's a good spot to do it. Once you're all set like that, the installation is basically over. And now we're just going to reassemble the unit like so. And... Um, with the unit back together, we're ready to hook it all up and try it out. Uh, what you're going to notice is a, a increase of 20 to 50 percent on your fan's blowing output at all times. So if your unit's at idle, it's actually going to push the hot air a little bit more away from the unit. If you've noticed, a PS3 typically sitting at idle will just be roasting, and, and that's, that's the problem we want to avoid, and that's the problem that kills these PS3s. The fact that the thermal compound the manufacturer puts on there dries out and then the heat they put out just basically gets so extreme that when you turn them off they cool down and shatter the solder. So we want to avoid that problem especially after a repair so putting a fan booster in there will kill that heat um, at idle and even at heavy use it will actually run even faster. So it will keep your unit hopefully at a very cool um, or lukewarm temperature which should never um, cause that solder to crack. Anyway, thanks for watching Spitfire Mods. That's our, our fan increaser. Um, one thing I do want to mention about the fan increaser is uh, there is no out external fan unit that you could use that realistically could blow in here. Um, let's go over that quick. Uh, just a quick comment about that is if you, let's say you blow air in the front here well look where that air is going it's going nowhere the air if you hook a fan booster to the front of here it has nowhere to go it's going to hit the front metal cage or or it's going to blow in here which is nothing there's no, there's nothing it could even blow against it would blow in there and hit the ductwork so the G gpu on this unit is under multiple layers of metal there is absolutely no fan mod that you could buy externally that would increase the cooling output of this unit at all um, 
the best thing for cooling your unit if it if you don't have an internal fan mod is to take a room fan and blow cool air against the outside of the entire unit which will actually get the heat away from the unit and bring in some fresh air but putting a, a fan right against the front here isn't even going to get the air where the fan is so um you know, there really is no way to blow air. Even if you blow it in the back vent, you're just adding a little fresh air to the air it's taking in. Um, what you want is you want the heat being blown out. And by putting an internal fan in, you'll have thousands of times more heat output than you do without it. And that's the only piece of equipment that will. It's $25 on the website right now on sale. And uh, it's probably going to save the life of your PS3 hands down uh, nine times out of ten. So this is by far the most... Um, most important piece of equipment when you know working with a used PS3. Anyway, thanks for watching and good luck with your system and good, leave us some responses. Let us know how that worked out for you. Thanks.